All right, just like that, we're at the middle of this random road here. And uh, yeah, I just found this spot on Trail Forks and it said there was dirt biking here. So we're here with the dirt bikes, got them loaded out. And uh, yeah, I guess we're just gonna hop on some trails and see where they lead us. Apparently there's some cool lake here. So we're just gonna see if we can go ahead and find that lake. It'd be super cool. I've seen some photos that look epic. So let's go ahead, let's hop into the trails and let's see if we can find this thing. Man, it's been five, this is the fifth day in a row of dirt biking. And I tell you what, it is catching up to me. My legs are like friggin' noodles today. I'll tell you what. Well, it looks like we're gonna be heading into the forest. This is cool. Like I said, I literally, this spot, I had no idea it even existed until I was just browsing trail forks and saw that it said that there was some dirt biking trails here. I don't know how legitimate they are because I know there's a lot of mountain biking here too, but this is very cool. It's like you're on a bicycle track, but it's for dirt bikes. It's so scenic in here. This is awesome. And the view I saw, I saw a photo online there of the lake. It looked very cool. So I'm excited to see what it looks like actually. Cause apparently it's like a beach. You can ride your motorbike right onto the beach, which is like super duper cool. Up we go. That's awesome. This is so like neat, man. I love this. It feels like where you just normally go for a hike in the woods, but you get to ride a dirt bike in it, which is awesome. I love this. Oh, there's some sort of big open something there. This is so sweet. Well, it looks like people don't come this way. It's pretty overgrown, so I don't think people are riding here that often. That's for sure. She's real bushy over in these parts. All right, now just kind of pop this out onto this road. I think the lake is somewhere over in that vicinity. So we're just kind of guessing how to get there at this point. A couple of whoopie whoop sections and up we go. Okay, and now it looks like we're back right back into the tight little woods. Super duper tight in here with overgrownness, for sure. But this is part of the adventure, right boys? Isn't this what y'all love? The pure rawness of adventure. We don't know where we're going or what's where, but we're just, we're just going, you know? No one's yelled at us or screamed at us that we're doing something wrong, so I'll take that. And up we go. Awesome. I don't know which way we're supposed to go here. How you doing back there? Almost there. All right, now we're in the dark depths of the woods. Holy crap. Man, it's just giving you a whole variety of everything here. Ew! It's awesome, boys. Oh, okay, boom, here's the road. All right, back into the jungly depths here. This is just so cool. There's another trail up in there. There's quite a bit of mud puddles down here too. See the lake. I sees it. Woo! Holy smoly. This is so cool. Dude, this is epic. Oh, this is so sick. Oh, dude. This is sweet. Dude. Oh, yeah, dude. This is so awesome. Oh yeah, right here, look at this. Oh, this is magic. Hello. Oh, that's so sick. Look at that, boys. This is so bloody cool, guys. Look at this, boys. How friggin' sweet is this? So dope. So bloody dope. Epic. What the heck is this? Okay, some really old structure thing. Fancy. Interesting. I think we might make a change of plans and come camp here now. This spot's just so sick. I had no idea this was here, but man, is it ever cool. All the roads were gated in here, so you can't get a truck in here anymore. There's so many berms and jumps, and it's just like so fun and zippy, and just it's, it's just so flow. It's just, it's awesome. It's so cool. I could pretty much spend all day here just playing around and messing on these berms. It's just, there's just too much fun. Just so much fun. 
It's awesome. Love it. Absolutely addicted to it. Want to go back right now. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, it's like a little mini race course in here. I'm pretty much having the time of life like a child. Oh, this is so sick. Like, look at this spot. It's just like dreams here, boys. Definitely have to come here. This is so cool. Just like a mini race course all throughout here. Epic burns too. <laughs> Woo! So much fun. Woo! Up along the ridge here. Ew! Off the ledge. Pull a hairpin back this way. This is so sick! Yeah, we need to figure a way in here with the truck, that's for sure. Hell yeah, boys! Alright, so this is the one black diamond they have here. So of course, you know, I had to come try it out and see what it's like. Just dropped off Jessica at the truck so she doesn't have to kill herself on this. So let's go for a little bit of a Soto ride on this and see how hard this black diamond is. So far, it's looking pretty easy. Oh, it's, it's overgrown. What the hell is this? Okay, we're up. And up we go here. Tight and twisty. Real tight single track in here. No idea where we're going or what's in the trail when it's this overgrown, that's for sure. What's gonna be down here? Okay, we're going right back up. Was really loose really really loose hill climb that's cool you can see the highway right from here such a random little spot for a dirt bike like tracks Woo! this black diamond is nowhere near the same as the other black diamond though but you can see this stuff's a lot more just uh where it's like in the dry powder Eww! sure is fun though through this, really overgrown again. Can't see, can't see. Uh-oh, blackberry bushes. And then we're going downtown, boys. Can't see a damn thing in the trail. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Okay, here we go, I'll back up. Yeah, you can tell people don't ride the black diamonds here, that's for sure, they're goddamn overgrown. But I don't think people are riding here all that much to begin with. Cause most of the trails are fairly, fairly bushy. But man, that lake spot makes it all the worth it checking this spot out. That's for damn sure. That thing's so epic down in there. Lots of, lots of cool riding around here. Okay, here we go. Up a good ledge. Up another one. Up and away we go. That was sweet. This is the other half of the black diamond. See what there is to offer in here. Ew! <laughs> oh wow. 
Epic view. Epic view, boys. Hell yeah. Woo! Tight and twisty. Whoa, big hole down that way. Woo! This is awesome. Down here, whip it back into the, whoa! Almost wipe out back into the little woods. Up over the root. Up a little bit. Whoa! Bark Busters coming to the day again. Saving our butt. Down into the dark depths below. You know. Tight turns. Death grip is real. Face full of bush. Ow! Well, we finally made it somewhere after hours and hours of driving. And here we are at the ocean. We found a freaking ocean spot. And man, would you just... I don't know if you guys will be able to see us in the camera. Just look way back up in those mountains, man. Look at that. We're in the middle of summer and there's a mountain just covered in snow up there. So epic. So pretty. Huge, big old ocean spot. We've got our own little beach. Got the rig parked up here. It's so, so sick. Absolutely stunning spot, super perfect spot. Super stoked on it that we finally found something after however many hours we were out driving on the dirt roads and trying to just find somewhere. Didn't have a bajillion people, so finally found somewhere. Super stoked on that. All right, and just like that, we dipped out from that last spot we were at. We're now at this random hole in the bush that we're gonna try and walk through. Apparently there's some caves here. So we're gonna see if we can get into the cave. No idea if this is the way, but we're going for it. We're sending it. So let's see what happens. Oh yeah, there's a trail. There's a trail up here. Oh, would you look at that? Like four trees fell right onto the bridge. Trees fell right on the bridge. So that way or this way? Which way looks? Venture boys to find the caves. Would you look at that? There's another like nine trees down across it. I love it. Trees down here, trees down there. Oh yeah, brother. I do a little dip of rooskies under the trees here. Again on this one, but this one's a little bit easier of a fit. Awesome. Getting somewhere. All right, well, I think we found the caves here. Coming up on them, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. There's the caves down in here. Okay, this is very cool. It's gonna be wet in there. There's a river flowing into the cave. So I guess it wants us to have three lights, hard hat, three people, no risks, suitable clothing, lots of time. We got none of those, let's go. Let's not die or run out of light. Da -na -na -na. This is cool, it's a serious cave. <laughs> They're dark as this. Wow, oh, it's a cave. Definitely should have brought a better real flashlight. Wow. I can't see crap. I almost stepped in a puddle. <laughs> that was close. Looks like it's dry right there. Meanwhile, it's water. Jeez. Yeah, slow down the steps here, boss. Whoa, giant cobweb. Crazy. Whoa. No, that's like crystally. There's a lot of loose rock here. Whoa. Okay. This gets real. Okay, we're not set up to do this. I think this is probably where I stop. You can see we came in from up here. That's where that one The ravine is going. Now you really can't tell, but like right about there is where it starts just being like a slide down the hill. Where you got all the water running down it. You can't really tell, but. Thank you guys so much for watching this mini series. I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos and hanging out with us on our massive long camping trip. This is a whole lot of fun. I'm really excited to get out and do it again. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys click that like button. It really does support the channel and helps us and it lets me know that you guys want to see more adventures and crazy fun stuff like that. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.